Welcome back to an exciting new episode from Cambria and Bobby. In today's episode, it's a Decorate With Me and Freya Easter edition. Watch us as we take our yard from nothing to this. All that more, so stick around. Oh yeah. So it is that time again when it is decorating season. You may say, what are you talking about, Bobby? It's not October or, well, it's not Halloween. It's not Christmas. But guess what? There are some holidays that happen after those, like Easter. So it's Easter decorating season. So in order for me to be able to put up my Easter decorations this year, I need to get my front yard looking better. Cause right now it's kind of straggly. All right, now that the grass is all cut, now I have a nice platform to start decorating. Um, so I got inflatables, yard signs to put out. I'm gonna do lights on the house. So that is the plan. Honestly, I really don't even remember what I have for Easter. I haven't decorated for Easter in two years. So we'll see how, what I got and how it turns out. I've been asked um, in the past about when I do the wiring, um, whenever I do the inflatables, I try to use either 14 gauge or 12 gauge, depending on the length of the wire. Let's try to show you what I'm talking about here. All right. So, right there. If you look at your wire and it says, it's gonna say a couple things. It could say 12, 14, or 16. Most electrical that you buy in the store, most of it that you see, those extension cords are 16. So it would say 16 AWG. I run 14s to make sure, because I my runs are usually a little longer and I have multiple things plugged in. So I run 14 gauge. So that's what this is. And it has the multi plugs in them. If it's a really long run, okay. like if I have to go from the house, run all the way, then I'm gonna do like a 12 gauge. But for right now, all I'm doing is I'm plugging in here and powering up each of these guys. So I 14 gauge will be fine. Here I am drilling out the base so I can use larger spikes in these bigger inflatables. I find doing the larger spikes instead of the spikes that they come with work a lot better for holding them in place because of wind or other factors like how soft your soil is. 
Our soil is pretty soft here, so you're going to want something bigger or you're going to want a spiral spike, but spiral spikes don't really work well in these bases. So I just use a larger tent stake to install these bigger inflatables. So then I plug this one in. This one worked fine last time I uh, checked it and now it doesn't work. So that kind of sucks. Obviously setup must go on. So I took that one out of the the lineup and we move on with uh, just moving the inflatables down. So now I get this big guy up and this big guy is kind of special because we've had them for, I don't know, two or three years. I've only put them up once and uh, yeah, he didn't fare so well in windy weather in his stock form. So I ended up modifying him. So on this big guy here, this guy I modified because he wasn't staying up that well. So if you look back here, he had one of those, one of those fans that just mount in the back, kind of like that guy right there, how he has his little fan. It's just, it was a little bit bigger. Anyways, so I sewed that up um, and I mounted one of the big fans because I knew that would help hold this guy up better. So that was a modification I did about two years ago on this guy and it seems it worked well. So more powerful fan, more volume and yeah. So that's something you can do too with these big guys. If they come with that little silly fan in the back do a big fan, just mod it yourself, and you'll be a lot happier for it. It's a big bunny. Don't be beating him up.
not in front of the door. Not right on the door, baby. Yeah. We won't be able to get in and out. Put him here. No, here. We put him here. No, here. We need there. Why do you get to make all the choices? No, our door. I think you should go here. No, our, our door. And then this guy right here. Like this. No, our door. But we go our door. Okay, okay. Fine. This will go here, and this guy will go here. Okay. Yeah. Is that better? Yeah. Well, take off the Is that good? Yeah. Take that off. I don't have a bunny mat. I just have our welcome mat. Yeah. But there we go. There now those guys are up. Freya doesn't understand um, how to spread things out, so she's just gonna put it all in this spot. <laughs> Does that look good in that spot? <laughs> You're just gonna put it all in one spot? Are you kidding me? Well, you don't you don't want it too close to the inflatables since they're metal. They might cut them. Well, now she's spread it out a little bit. <laughs> Grab one of them and put them in front of the front of the house here. Yep. Take one. Or both. Alright, Freya, over here. Put one over there. Yep, put it over there. Okay. Yep, there you go, right there. Good job. Okay. Now grab another one and put it over here. Put it over there. Come on. You can grab it and put it there. Good job. See, now we're spreading them out. This is good. And then we're going to put some bright colored lights on them. Yay! Let's turn light and turn. Yeah, we're going to put lights on. And when I bought it, I tested it. It worked. Oh. But right now, the fan doesn't want to turn. It lights up and everything. And you can feel like it's vibrating, like it's trying to turn. But this guy just doesn't want to do it. And this is what it looks like. So it's a huge inflatable. And I really want to get him to work. So I'm going to have to take it apart and see what I can do. Try to get this guy up. So, yeah. Unfortunately, I am down one big inflatable. We have chemistry, but always chasing after someone else. So this took me by surprise. Now I know what you're thinking. Bobby, why are you putting up Happy St. Patrick's Day? Well, St. Patrick's Day does come before Easter, and since I'm putting up these decorations, I'm gonna put up my St. Patrick's Day decoration because I only have a few. So we're just gonna roll with it. And here I am putting up lights on the house. Um, we have our orchestra of lights that uh, can do all different colors. So I'm just putting them along the trim of the house and we're just gonna let it do its different color cycle. And you know, goes with the Easter, 
We got, you know, the red, the blues, the greens, all the different colors of the rainbow. So why not? Even in my wildest dreams. Oh, yeah. Even in my wildest dreams. And part of my decorating is also putting up our decorations, lights in the windows. So here I am putting up some St. Patrick's Day and Easter because, I mean, I only have a couple of St. Patrick's Day, so I'm just going to put them up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we got just couple lights for the windows just to give that extra effect and I don't know I just I just like having window decorations just me I don't know maybe leave comments if you have window decorations all right so I took my Easter Bunny fan apart and all the wires are connected but I think I'm gonna just try it I'm gonna try taking these off and redo these connections to see if that makes any difference because I don't know they it's not that they're loose but I think they could be better um, if not I pulled I have this fan that I pulled out of another unit um, that stopped working or whatever and or just died got ripped apart whatever this fan though is a smaller model than this one and this one can do, this one is a 3,150 RPM fan. This one's only a 3,070 RPM, so it's less volume. If I can't get this fan to work, I'm going to put this fan on it. Yes, it's less, but it might be enough to power this guy and save it. So... Because this unit doesn't look that old. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to try to do. My other thought would be taking out this and putting it in this one. That's my only other thought is maybe that maybe this went bad in this unit. And that might it just might need this. I don't know, but that's more more possibly more of a pain. Whereas I could just connect this guy and hook up the wires and call it good. So I'm going to try to redo these connections, see if it works. If not, I'm going to take this fan, hook it up to this or hook it up to this unit and see if, see if it all work. And if it has enough power to blow this, blow this one up. So I redid the connections, still fan not working. See the lights are lit but still nothing out of the fan. So I'm gonna put this one in now. All right. So I got transplant all done, smaller motor in it. So we'll see how she does now. Hopefully it's enough power to put it up and keep it up. That's, that's the big thing. Cause I think it's enough to blow it up, but keeping it up is a whole nother thing when it comes to these. So far, it's doing pretty good. I don't remember how this thing goes, so we'll find out. All right, so here's what it's looking like right now. Let's see if we un untangle it here. Maybe it'll have enough power. All right. So after I untangled it, it looks like it has enough power to run it and enough to at least keep it up. So yeah, it works. Um, obviously with a little bit more power, I think that would definitely help. It would help blow it up quicker, but also, um, Probably during like more windier stuff, it probably would help, but I think we're good. So I'll have to put this outside now and do an uh, actual real world test.
Well, Freya seems to like it. So now all I have to do with this, besides put it outside, is I'm gonna check all of its light bulbs and if it has that old fluorescent style, I'll replace it with LED ones. Just to make sure it's all bright and uses less power. So yeah, there you go. So, taking out these bulbs, the original fluorescent, and putting in these LEDs, and you can see the difference. Bright white, bright white, bright white over there, and then you can see that one I haven't replaced yet. Let's do this. Here you go. So bright white, I've replaced these four, and these are still the original bulbs. So you can see how much of a difference in light it makes. That side versus this side, big difference. And it just uses less power. So it's got two more to replace and then this thing will be good to go. All right. So because the motor isn't as powerful when we get a big gust of wind, it blows over and doesn't have enough strength to pick itself back up. Once it's up, it's okay, but you can see it's a windy day. But because, like I said, it needs that extra RPM and volume to push itself back up. But I mean, it does at least stand on its own. So I just ended up moving that guy over because I wanted him over here, but yeah. There we go. So if it's not windy, it'd be fine. But windy, it just doesn't have enough. But, you know, it was a free fix because I had the motor. Rather than spending $75, $80 on a new one. I want to be a weekend lover. Yeah, I'm going to be the best damn lover you got. I want to mess up your covers.
Thank you for watching our video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like and leave a comment if you want. And we'll see you next time. Bye.